It gladdens me to know that Odin prepares for a feast. The Asir will welcome me. My death goes without apology. And I welcome the Valkyries to summon me home. channel guys we are back for yet another trailer reaction and holy god the time has arrived Valhalla is here so this is a sequel to the highly critically acclaimed Vikings TV series one of my all-time favorite TV shows and I absolutely got lost in the world I got lost in the characters I found myself reading up on the lore and just the mythology of it all after the show. It's one of those shows that you get really invested in and you go away doing more and more research on and learning more and more about. And this is the sequel. So you're not going to see Bjorn, you're not going to see Ragnar or anything like that. I'd imagine there's going to be nods to them in this show because this is a sequel. It's put together by the same director as the Vikings TV series and it's going to be a good one, hopefully. So this is just a trailer reaction, guys. Haven't seen this yet. This is dropped um, officially on Netflix, and it's going to be the next Netflix TV series that's going to be up and coming, and people are going to hopefully love and enjoy. I think this one is coming along to us in February, so not long at all to wait until this lands. But here we go. Let's check out the trailer. I hear drums. No. Shields. You have been summoned here to avenge the death of Vikings. Bring me England. Blood is not my blood. It is our blood. It is Viking blood. Yes, 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 yes. When is that coming? When is that coming? There we go, guys. 25th of Feb. Lock that into your diaries. This one is going to be a beast. Um, great trailer. It looks like they've gone with a brand new cast, which is a very good move. And obviously, it's going to be set loads and loads. Of, I think it's about 100 years or so after the events of the final series in the Vikings TV show. Um, so there's going to be none of the characters alive at that point that you saw in the last show. So you're not going to see Floki anymore. You're not going to see Ragnar, Bjorn. You know, all the events that happened stayed as they are. So this is a sequel to that show. And uh, it looks like they've gone with a brand new cast. There's going to be some brutal battles in this. There's going to be some brutal fight scenes. I'd imagine just like the initial Vikings TV series, we're probably going to get some mythology. There's going to be some nods to Odin in there. Hopefully we see another Blood Eagle gruesome but i love that sort of stuff there was loads of um nods to just the viking heritage basically the way they live the way they are uh what they believe in 
their stature and, and all that kind of stuff is is almost historically accurate there's obviously some question marks around their hair and how they had tattoos and things like that um but other than that i'm feeling it it's gritty it's dirty it's uh in your face there's loads and loads of um looks like there's going to be some uh, cgi in there but there's going to be loads and loads of over the top fights over the top battles and it looks like they've got a good budget for it so love that scene where they sort of took down the bridge with the long ships and I'm sure we're going to see lots more of that coming along in the show as it goes along as well. So really, really pumped for this one, guys. I really enjoyed the Vikings TV series. It kind of tailed off a little bit towards the end. It kind of got a bit stale, in my opinion. But I felt it ended on a good note. I felt it ended the way that it was intended to end. It ended in the right way. All the character arcs sort of made sense. Um, <clears throat> I was quite happy with how they tied in all the characters. The only one I felt a little bit robbed by was Rolo I think his name is yeah Rolo but um other than that I think they all tied in nicely I think it all sort of ended on the right theme it all ended in the right way and it made sense both to the prior series and the way that that series in itself was carried through so hopefully we get the same sort of direction the same production values on this one the same writing um, but hopefully it brings something a bit more fresh and dynamic. Obviously, we're going to be moving forward in time now historically. So there's going to be events, um, changes in sort of warfare, changes in how sort of tactically the armies move and how they work. Uh, because obviously there's going to be some learnings from what they've carried through in the prior series and in history by date and by definition. So it's going to be an interesting watch, I think definitely going to be checking it out if you guys want to see a, a breakdown of the series and you want to see some reviews please do reach out to me let me know either via psn twitter direct messages uh tiktok or just in the comments here but hopefully you did enjoy this video let me know in the comments if you're pumped for this one guys what do you think of the trailer is it going to deliver is it going to be just as good as the vikings tv series so this is a sequel it's going to follow on directly from the events of the last tv series i hear it's around 100 years after I don't know if that's completely accurate, but that's the sort of time scale we're looking at. But let me know what you think. What are you hoping to see? What do you think will be introduced in this series? If you did enjoy the video, guys, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Come and subscribe to the channel as well if you're brand new. And why not hit the bell icon on the channel homepage and you'll be notified as and when any other content like this goes live. Until the next video, until the next stream, take care of yourselves and I'll see you again very soon. Peace. See you in Valhalla.